Okay, so today what we're going to look at is simplifying a radical expression with an odd exponent. And so what that means is if we had something that was the square root of, let's say, 16 x to the 15th, okay? So that's what we are going to um, use as our problem here. We want to go back through f a few rules of exponents, okay? Uh, particularly exponents that deal with square roots. So if I look here um, at the square root of x, I know that that is actually x to the 1 half. In the same way that the cube root of x is really x to the 1 third. So whenever you have a fractional exponent, what you're really doing is rooting, uh, taking the root of that number or that variable. <coughs> so that is one idea that we're going to need to hold on to. Um, Additionally, we need to remember that if we have an a times a b, and it's to some exponent of m, then that is really a to the m times b to the m. So the exponent will actually distribute itself through the other ex the two other exponents inside the parentheses. Okay, so these are the two rules that we're actually going to use for this uh, problem. So let's go back to it. First off, <clears throat> what I can see here is that here's 16 and here's A, and so these coincide. Here's B and here's x to the 15th. Those coincide, okay, so there's my A, there's my B, and what we're going to do is apply this rule such that we get the square root of 16 times the square root of x to the 15th, okay? So we've got this now. At this point, what we want to do is we actually want to look at this rule here. Particularly, let me actually circle this one, particularly this, where we have the square root, which really means this is to the one-half power, okay? So this is really 16 to the one-half times x to the 15th, also to the one half. <clears throat> what we're going to do at this point is we've got to start breaking this apart uh, and creating a situation that allows us to eliminate as much of the exponents as possible. There's one other rule that I want to mention and that rule is uh, when you have a base to a power to another power, so it's a power to a power, all we're going to do is just multiply the two powers together, <laughs> okay? So coming back over here to the left, we know that 16 is actually 4 squared to the 1 half times x to the 15th. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to separate this out, and I'm going to call it x to the 14th times x to the first. Now the reason I can do that is uh, because of this rule here. Notice if I have x to the 14th, x to the first, if I add the um, exponents, okay, so that looks like a subtraction here, okay, what I'm using here is that if my bases are the same, then I add the exponents up, right? And so 14 plus 1, right here, 14 plus 1 would give me the 15. Now what I can do is I can actually take this rule here and distribute the 1 half to this term and this term, or specifically this exponent of this term and this exponent of this term. 1 half times 2 would follow this rule here. So what we're going to have is 4 squared over 2 times x to the 14 over 2 times x to the 1 half. Well, 2 over 2 is simply 1. 14 over 2 is 7. So what I'm going to get now is 4x to the 7th times x to the 1 half. Well, what that is is 4x to the 7th square root of x. And then that would be your final answer. So again, notice, it's about rule usage, okay? 
the different rules that you can use <clears throat> to get this all um, figured out. Notice we used rule one right here. We used rule two right here and again right here. Okay, so here's rule two and here's rule two. That was rule one. Rule three we used on this step and we also used rule four right here. Okay, so you can see that these rules I just keep reapplying to make sure that this sequence um, goes effectively.